really excited. Today I got my second Shebix head. Uh, the first one I have is for the Rockwell 8 inch joiner, which I absolutely love. Um, so now I'll be outfitting the DeWalt 735 with the new Shebix. So we'll dig right into it. So I'm going to go ahead and open the case. So you just remove these three red thumb screws. This comes up and out. Okay, next we do need to remove the blade completely. So you have to remove all the screws with the tool that comes with DeWalt. It also has a magnet in the handle to easily remove the cover and the blade. Next we'll remove the rotating lock, it's two Phillips screws. Next we want to remove the handle. We'll also remove these four screws. Next we'll remove the chain with a 532nd Allen. Also remove the chain tensioner. To hold the thing from spinning, I went ahead and added a little block in there. by pulling on it and spinning it and getting it to jump the tracks I was able to finally get that off then took the nut off and pulley comes off it does have a little key so make sure you don't lose that little key it's very important next we'll need to remove this little snap ring now we'll go to the other side to remove the cover. Now that we have the cover off, we're going to remove these two little snap rings. These three screws that hold the cover on this gearbox. Pull this gearbox out, turn on the gear shift clockwise, and that helps disengage the inside. Now you need to tap on this shaft with a piece of hardwood. Next we'll remove the helical gear 6 millimeter socket. Now I'll install it on the new cutter. Because I bought the cutter with the original diameter, I need to remove all of these carbide squares. So I went ahead and put the, the bit in my Makita to speed things up. Now to install this cutter. Still sharp, but just being careful not to make any sudden moves.
to get the snap ring in, I had to get a 11 16 inch deep socket and pound on that bearing a little more until I could see where the snap ring fits in. Put the snap ring back in. Before installing the pulley, make sure to install this washer. Before installing the pulley, make sure to install this little key. Now that the key is installed, you can install the pulley. Lower the cutter onto a piece of board. Keep it from turning. Now that the pulley's installed, you want to install the belt. And then the two little snap rings go on. So now that the cutter is installed, now I can reinstall all of these. Now to install this cover. 